Oh, this is the second time filming because I was not recording because I am a dumbass. All right, this is my saving binder folder. This is my home folder. It currently has $60. I need to get, make some tracker sheets for these. It's my emergency folder. It's got $20 so far. This is my student loans folder. It's got $10 so far. My student loans were pushed back to May, so that's nice. I have an Etsy folder for stuff that I need to buy from Etsy for my Etsy shop. I'll link that down below. I want to get an iPad at some point. That one's a low priority. I have spend. What I'll pro I need to make some little envelopes to put in my wallet because I have them separate because I like to have a small wallet to th just throw in my pocket so I don't have to bring my purse everywhere. So I'll probably be putting the money in here for safekeeping and until I put it in my wallet. Gifts has nothing so far. Eat Out does have $10. That's in my wallet right now. Gardening does have $10. I just bought some seed starting supplies trays and stuff from Johnny Seeds. I'll link them down below. And I need to buy some four inch pots to transplant them from the starting trays to that before I throw them out in the garden. And then groceries is empty. This one probably won't be used that much just because I do live with my parents and they cover a lot of that. All right, that's my, my folder so far. All right, so I also have a Google Sheet document to divide all of, divide my money to put into my saving folders. So my income, I do not, I'm currently unemployed and I am getting money from my mom to deep clean the house. So I earned $260 from that. I got $15 for returning my work badge. I had some account carryover from December, 1039. And then I do have a Poshmark. I'll link that down below as well. I got $6.01 for that. I am selling stuff for pretty cheap because I just want to get rid of it and see if I can't recoup a little bit. All right, we have a little get it break. Yeah. Yeah, you're so cute. Yeah, get it. All right. Before I was really interrupted by my sister and Gidget. So I have my income, my mom chores, my account carryover, and my Poshmark. I do have home, emergency, student loans, Etsy. I pay my sister back for the, cr the cricket she bought me. She's also drawing me a an emblem, if you will, a profile picture. I don't know what to call it, but I have to pay her back for that. I have an iPad I want to buy, spending money, gift money, Bitcoin. That's no cash out because I'm going to do it online, obviously. Amazon, eating out, gardening, and then I have my Johnny Seeds order on here. I actually found a discount code through Ibotta. I'll have all my referral links and codes down there. I have a remainder. I have a bank carryover. That's for money I want to keep in my bank account. As a buffer, I have total left. And I have this repeated four times because I was getting paid weekly. I don't know. This might change. And at the bottom, I have monthly total income because I want to see how much I make each month. And then I have a total spent. So I want to see how much I spend each month and see if, you know, that works. I also have this little spreadsheet for owing my sister. I currently owe her for the Cricut. And then when she's finished with my picture, I'll add to that. I also have a student loan breakdown. I have five loans I owe. I have their interest rates. So... I got five of these, date, payment, total paid on that loan, it'll add up, principal paid and interest paid, it actually says online when I make online payments, how much went towards the principal and what, how much went towards interest, and then I have leftover, this is also the new principal will be multiplied by the percentage rate for each loan, and so it'll add and subtract, so I'll know how much I still owe, and then at the very bottom here, I have principal paid in total, interest paid in total, and these are adding up these two columns from all five. I have how much I paid, and that'll, of course, the same thing. And then I have how much is remaining. I currently owe $14,844.70. I have made a few payments sporadically, so I'm not totally at zero. And then I have a monthly in monthly spending, so I want to see how much goes towards... Walmart groceries, county market, my local grocery store groceries, 
out to eat shopping gas apple amazon coinbase and other i want to see how much i invest per month in coinbase and so it'll all total up over here and then this column right here is a total spent for that month adding all of these up so i'll do this for each month of 2022 and then i'll probably make a different spreadsheet for different years all right that is pretty much it thank you for watching Subs like and subscribe if you would like and i'll see you next time bye